here in the citadel of Amman, Jordan, one of the historical sites that's referred to in the Bible. Amman, Jordan was Ramath Ammon, which is the capital of the Ammonites. The Ammonites were direct descendants of Lot uh, from Lot's daughter. And so Lot's daughters had the Ammonites on one side and the Moabites on the other. Both of them were kind of uh, troublers of Israel. Uh, the Ammonites were constantly through Israel's history struggling for dominance. But God had instructed the, the children of Israel when they came into this land not to take the land of the Ammonites because they belonged to Abraham's relative. It's interesting some of the things that happened here um, after David's uh, army was humiliated by shaving off half their mustache and cutting their garments halfway, this citadel became one of the attack points for David's army and they had a one-year campaign here. In fact, in this city also Uriah, uh, the first husband of Bathsheba, was killed in the military campaign here. But probably the most notable part of the Ammonites was found in Second Chronicles and it's when Jehoshaphat was confronted with a large army of Ammonites and Moabites and others. And when he prepared for this, he prayed to God and God said, appoint the choir to go out and sing in front of your army. So he appointed the, the choir to go sing praises to God. And as the choir sang praises to God, the Ammonites and the Moabites were defeated in front of their eyes. They caused confusion and they attacked each other and they fled. How long has it been since you, in your life, used prayer and praise as a way of helping you in your battles that you face every day? Praise God today. He will help you through whatever you face.